Yeah, what is good, my elderly people? What is good, you know? I have seen quite a bit of shows, and it really fills me with hope and uh, compassion when it comes down to seeing the effort that's put into why the story <clears throat> not only seems pretty good, but without really knowledge of the world surrounding why <clears throat> why the monsters are the way they are, or like, you know, have, were they just normal, chilling people, and the Dark Knight is the, uh, or like the Dark Overlord, is he the only true reason why they fight? seeing how the island was but it seems like some of them are naturally violent as well uh so these are the small details of the world that hasn't been necessarily explained outside of someone shows up that's strong enough to make them fight they fight and if not then they pretty much can do whatever they want they can be malicious they can be you know people that fight all these different stuff but yet they don't really give us an actual clear indicator of is it something they choose to do or not which is interesting uh outside of that i'm definitely still looking for more information on uh how they're going to beat this ridiculously broken armor especially with them showcasing how strong this old oh my god <clears throat> this old student of the the hero is it doesn't make sense for this to think that any way in hell they're going to defeat this person but seeing how our main character has already found a little tiny gap in the armor there's hope but it's a such a slim small area that it had me dying when he used like a straight up fireball looking uh, baseball size magic attack seeing how he needed it to get into the mass and at least cause whatever damage he can which he almost does so there's big hopes for him to actually easily go, come out victorious in this but with how broken this guy is by being trained by the hero sees this coming no should know it's his only weakness right the one weakness you got is your big open faceplate <laughs> um protect that and you might just have a chance in actually taking care of yourself but with that being said, I really do like the backstory of the bad guy. They made it even so convincing that the main character himself can't back down or understand what's right or wrong in this situation. Seeing how if he actually had his grandfather taken from him, which the way the body was taken out, I kind of suspected that it was someone else. But for some odd reason... It still didn't matter, right? Like, even if it was someone else that was with the hero, does it really matter once you've gone this far as a villain? Like, I was kind of hoping that that isn't his uh, big overall tale is, oh, it wasn't him who killed him? Who did kill him? And then, of course, it's going to be some monster so he could join. Nah, I'm... I'm hoping it's one of these stories back when I was watching the stories when it's just that's what it is there's no twist there's no turns it's just yeah the hero killed that that one skeleton soldier what of it he came out and said his name and I cut him down <laughs> you know like what else was he supposed to do when you're protecting the dark lord that's all he could do that's all he had to do and the reason why he was there in the first place so I love how the conflict of interest is there when it comes down to 
training this kid but finding out you're doing the worst thing possible especially dying and not ever knowing what was going to become of that kid after what you just did there's no way you could have thought anything good could have come out of a kid trying to attack and kill the world's hero so very very interesting stuff i hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be i'm your boy energy i will definitely talk to you in the next one peace